Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I could not have timed this video any better for a video I just put out on my channel because I have heard from several people throughout the last month, going all the way back to the beginning of February, that the February side quest could have really used in the final objective rewards a six star awakening gym crystal. We hadn't seen it before. It feels like it's about that time in the game to introduce it in a side quest for free. Yes, you can make it tough and still have all of the threat level 5 objectives be earned before them, but we're about to see 7 stars. And normally Kabam gives the items and even the champions sometimes, although we have no hope at this point right now for a 6 star Quake or a 6 star Magic or a 6 star Wolverine to come into the contest. But the thinking is, if 7 stars right around the corner, we should be able to see 6 star Awakening Gym Crystals more. More than we've seen in a side quest up to this point, which is almost non-existent. If not, non-existent. Well, I talked about that in February, and uh, put the video out today. And then, lo and behold, just a few hours later, from the time of recording that video, Kabam puts out a forum post with the detailed description of the March Danger Room incursions style side quest which look it is inarguable that side quests are tougher now especially for newer accounts i mean i think they're tougher for all accounts but when you have three stars that have the pi of like eight thousand as the easiest threat level and the rewards are still comparable to when three stars were rated at like a thousand overall sometimes less than a thousand it's gonna hurt smaller accounts ability to do side quests and it's going to hurt their motivation to keep playing the game i still think kabam if you're going to keep threat level four and threat level five where they are fine players are going to have multiple rank five six stars soon and at the top of the paragon list top of the wallet breaker competitiveness list that should be clearable but if you want to grow your game you got to bring in new people and you've got to give the side quests something fun and easy to do what my favorite side quest of all time, and it's years old now, was the Mutant Treasure Hunt. The Mutant Treasure Hunt Island. Which was just amazing. Some people's favorite goes all the way back to Gwenpool Goes to the Movies. Although the complaint about that, man, did it make me angry, was that it was too easy. You could auto-fight through it. Well, oh no. Go throw rocks at the abyss. So, Danger Room. Hey, McCoy, Beast is a genius and very good at his job. Some may argue he's too good. Looking to improve the Danger Room, he's also managed to improve other areas of the contest. Regular incursions have been temporarily replaced with Danger Room incursions. Team up with a friend or go at it alone, internet phrases, to complete this month's content. Six difficulty levels. Threat levels, one to five, each have 12 zones total. Zones one, four, eight, and 12 will contain tech and skill opponents and will showcase Kate Bishop or Viv Vision as the final boss. Which, I'm guessing, especially when you get to that Zone 12, is going to be tough. Uh, Sector 6 has a full 25 zones. And uh, Zones 1, 4, 8, 12, 16, 18, and 24 will also have tech and skill opponents. And Kate Bishop or Viz Viv Vision as final bosses. Threat level 6 will match the challenge of the highest incursion sectors. Threat levels will return to 1 through 5 in the future. So yes, it appears there are threats 1 through... Six instead of one through five for this month. Uh, and then again, one, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-four will have a boss buff node before the first fight. And then there'll be new hacks for this event, but they can only be obtained in the zone stated above. And the new hacks won't spawn in threat level six for zones 16, 18, 24. Regular hacks will spawn on the first boss nodes instead. New hacks will last the entirety of your incursions run and won't expire after moving through zones. That is one of my biggest complaints about incursions is I forget which hacks haven't rolled off. And sometimes I forget that they have rolled off or haven't kept track. And I think I'm about to make the opponent bleed or stay with lightning fists. I'm going to shock him. Nope. Joke's on me. So that's a really, really good move. Once you've got it, you've got it until you're done. All champion refreshes will be reduced to five minutes. That is also fantastic. Play solo or duos. Earn danger room components for each zone. You clear and spin them in the danger store. Now, of course... We always want 
the highest progression possible, but Kabam in, lately in stores has basically made Thronebreaker the cutoff for stores, and we'll see if they do that again here. Login calendar. We've got those dangerous crystal shards. Uh, the new hacks. I'm not going to read every word of these because, quite frankly, that'd be a waste of your time, and you can read it yourself. But we've got proud degeneration, alternating enhancement, armor burst, draining degeneration. So two different degens. All out attacks. This one just increases attacker's ability actually by flat 10%. And then all out effects. Gain 10% increased buff and debuff duration um, of, in the potency of reinforcement hacks. Poisonous Truth. At the ready. Keep it going. Note these hacks will be added to the general incursions pool after this month's event. They will no longer be indefinite. Wah, wah. And then the Danger Store. Starts with Proven. Has the usual bare minimum items. Then Conqueror, then Uncollected, then Cavalier, then Thronebreaker. And do we see anything past Thronebreaker? It appears no. So no Paragon Store. I can already tell you I'll put the Prof and Prophecy on this one because it happens every time this happens. There will be some Paragon players very annoyed by that. Paragon has almost been a title in the game for a year. So that is a bit confusing that they don't have a Paragon Store. So Thronebreakers, you will feel... Uh, even with Paragon players, at least in this regard, this month, you'll get a good amount of Tier 5 Class Catalyst Crystal uh, Shard opportunity. You'll get a 50% Tier 5 and 100%, essentially, so 150% uh, of, well, I'll take it back. You'll get three fully formed Tier 5 Basic, and then you'll get an additional fully formed out of 50%, and then an additional um, Tier 5 Class Catalyst Crystal, but there's still no Selector. So... There have been some people who said, Prof, when are we going to get in the 100% Tier 5 Class Catalyst selectors in the side quest? Not this month. At least not here. Uh, tier 6 Basic Catalyst, Tier 3 Alpha Catalyst Fragments, 6 Star 6 Stones that are generic or 10, you know, we'll take that. 1,500 6 Star Hero Crystal Shards, 6 Star 6 Stone Crystals, 200,000 gold in the Tier 2 Alpha Catalyst. Okay. So, you know, the usual rewards. Danger Room Milestones. You've got all those different gold and danger room components. Incursions, milestones, same thing. And you keep scrolling down, and you keep scrolling down, and you keep scrolling down. And then you'll notice we've got special zone rewards. Now, with these special zone rewards, we will have a ton of opportunity, especially you Sector 6 folk, for Tier 3 Alpha, Tier 6 Basic, and then a six-star Awakening Gym Crystal at the end of Sector 6 on Room 25, which personally I don't think traditionally is worth that at all. After about Room 10 in Sector, well, what used to be Sector, what, 9? I was, I was good. But here's what I think matters the most. When we talk about those solo objectives and the rewards that go along with them, when you go to Threat Level 5, this is the big takeaway from this video. It is not some kind of clickbait BS. When you go to the month-long level 5, you'll see when Danger Room Incursions fights with hashtag defensive tank, offensive burst and control, counter tag champions on threat level 5 or higher, uh, eventually you will have, well, 7,500 6-star hero crystal shards, cool. 3,000 4-star real crystal shards, cool. But then, same level 5. Zooming in, a six-star Awakening Gem Crystal. This is what we've been asking for on this channel and elsewhere, and we're finally seeing it. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but it's easier than most ways to get it so far outside of asking Unit Man or your parents or whoever, definitely your credit card, to be swiped for that oh-so-common uh, January 4th, or July, January 4th, kind of tired, July 4th purchase. Cyber Weekend purchase, spring cleaning purchase, you name it. This is not any of that. And in theory, you could get it for free. As long as you don't have to use units, I guess, to keep advancing in this, which maybe you will. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, that's the big news of today. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.